What's up everyone, it's Lewis here doing another Affinity Photo tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the develop persona. Um, this is a, I actually got emailed asking about this question and I thought I would give you a little run through about what the develop persona is and how to use it. Um, so also I'd just like to quickly apologize if you can hear a cat purring, it's because there is a cat currently sitting on me and she will not move so I'm just going to roll with it. So yeah, it's not me purring just in case you were wondering. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the develop persona. So with the develop persona, it's basically for, it's the step before taking it back to, for raw images. I should specify this is for raw images. It's for developing raw images before taking them to the photo persona or liquify persona, or you can go straight to export persona if that's what you want, but I'll explain all that in a second. So basically this is a raw image that I've just opened. When you click it, I will show you, uh, um, let's just go ahead and go file, new, whatever, go, you click there and see how it says you need, um, yeah, you need something there. Usually it'll work if you just drag a raw photo into it. And as you can see, this is a 19 megapixel photo. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty big. Um, it's a photo I took whilst I was reviewing a Canon lens, which I'll put a link to in the description. Um, it was just a quick snap that I took to test it. I did some minimal editing on it just to brighten up some of these bits down here near the sand. Um, but basically this is the raw, the raw shot. So basically at this point you can do any, most of the stuff uh, you'll notice alongside here, there's a lot of tools missing and that's because you have to go back to this uh, photo persona to do those, which is just the next step, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, you've got your, you know, some tools down here, which I'm happy to explain to you, but I, I won't really bother. You can either play with them yourself or ask me and I'll do a tutorial, but this is just the developer persona. So basically you play around with whatever, you know, say I want a nice dark image. Let's just change the black point a bit, brighten it up. There we go. It pretty much looks the same, but it's a little bit darker in the blacks because I changed the exposure and the black points and yada, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, so there you go. And then you would go to, so basically let's just hypothetically say that that was where I started. That was the raw image. I fixed it up. I'm happy with this exposure. Then you go develop. And this is what happens. Turns it into, well, actually it automatically takes you to the photo persona. So then you've got all your other tools, the, these colors, um, paintbrush, so you go, you've gone from develop persona straight to here. You did just as soon as you hit develop and then you can choose to play around with all these other tools that you get given. You can go to the liquify persona, which I can do another tutorial on if you want. But then when you're ready to go, you just export, hit, sorry, hit export persona. And then you can export multiples. Um, you can choose all your different options here. You can move around the image. You can, uh, but yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is after you go to the persona, the, the export persona. So you've gone from develop as a raw image to the photo persona to export persona, and you can choose whatever you want. You want to open it up in PDF, PNG, GIF, whatever you want to, however you pronounce it, sorry. Um, high quality, there's more here. You can, yeah, there's all the different types that you could ever possibly need there. And then different color spaces and stuff and pixel formatting and whatever you want to do. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So then, yeah, when you're done, you just go export selected down here. And if you've got multiple images, you can continuous and keep it all you know, doing whatever you want to do. Then you choose where it goes and then it's just done. So we've gone from having, there it is. Whoops. That's the exported image with the edits that I've done from raw. So just a quick recap on that. You go from develop persona. Again, this is only for raw images. You go to develop persona. You play around with everything that you want to play around with. Um, then once you're happy with how it looks, hit develop takes you straight to the, once it develops up here, 
takes a couple of seconds. One, then you got, takes you straight to the photo persona. You can draw on it. You can layer it. You can do whatever the hell you want. This is where it becomes a little bit more like Photoshop. And then you go to export, play around up here on the right with whatever you need to do to make the image work for you. And then you just hit export selected. And if you've got multiple multiple images there, or if you want multiple resolutions or whatever, it's all there. So yeah, I hope that kind of summarizes it. And I hope I answered the question well enough. I can go more in depth, but I'm trying really hard to keep these videos kind of bite-sized and down because I tend to waffle. But um, just as a side note, I just want to say thank you. I have gained 50 subscribers and that's really awesome. It might not seem like a lot to you guys, but it's a lot to me. And I kind of made a deal with the universe that if I made 50 subscribers by the end of today, which is Friday, I would actually start taking YouTube a bit more seriously and probably putting up a video a week doing camera reviews, video game reviews, um, photography reviews. Uh, I'm also getting into filmmaking, so there'll probably be some of that. I'll actually do a video talking about all this stuff soon. So I just want to say again, thank you all so much. And as always, tweet at me, Instagram, email, whatever. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about Affinity or Lightroom or Photoshop or Final Cut or whatever you want. So just let me know in the comments or get at me on Twitter. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time.